Welcome to the Prem with Great Yarmouth. And as you can see, we've just had a fantastic result against March where we won 4-3. So this is just the ending of that there. And we've got 4th v 3rd in the next game. Oxley Jets should be a cracker. We are at home as well. Hopefully we can put a result together on that. So... We are currently about 10 points behind Eli, which isn't a good thing for us. I do believe they still have a game in hand as well. So if we have any chance of trying to get there, we can't lose the rest of our schedule. So looking at that, I think we still have Eli. Yeah, Eli third from last game. So that could be come down to a game decider depending on how well we do against Threatford and the other teams below us as well. So we've got a tough running coming up. We need to concentrate, we need to get there, we need to start winning rather than... seems what we're doing is we're going a couple of goals up or going a couple of goals down and then just drawing the game. So we definitely need to get that out of our system, that is for sure. However, I'm happy with the squad we've got. We've got, a couple, we've got one player, one major player out injured <clears throat> and um, we just hit, seem to have a couple of players who are a bit inconsistent with their form of the season. But yeah, we've got Oxley Jets third, uh, Maidenhall were 20, 21st Maidenhall. So, I wasn't expecting that, they were pretty up there last year. Although saying that, we were we were predicted to come second last year, and this media, this year, we were predicted to come near the bottom. Si oh, sixth we were meant to come this year. So again, we may still fit that, because that's where we came around last year, so... 250 to 1, you'd have thought that would have been more near the bottom, rather than near the top. Again, getting offered interviews. However, I am happy with Great Yarmouth. Eli, I think, are playing their game in hand now. Let's hope for a loss. Oh, they drew 5 5, so that puts them back on rock par with us. And. That means they're only 11 points, so that is not too bad. I mean, if you, if you look in contest, 12 points is 4 games. They only need to lose 4 games. We need to win 4 games. And one of the games they can lose to us is against us, so that's only 3 games they really could lose. Oh, Norris has taken ill, so we are going to send him home because we don't want him to um, make ill the rest of the squad. I think Norris is on the reserve bench anyway, so we can we can have him away for three weeks while we sort out our domestic season. So it'd be great if Eli can drop points. We really don't want them in the uh, in the league. However, what I may do is if I know we are deciding to stay in the league, I may get a director of football involved and get a director of football getting the players in and see how we do with a director of football because I've not had a director of football before Bridport now Bridport has a little bit close to my heart they are in the Western Premier League which is a county division team I so would take that job but I'm not going to so Oxley Jets are our next game coming up next. We've got Milden Hall, who are 21st, and then we've got second place Threatford. Again, that could hurt their title hopes as well, Threatford. But like I say, if I if we decide that we are not going to be promoted this season, I will look at getting in a head uh, a director of football to work above me and actually work on the players and the transfers. And I'll change all the settings in that and see how we do next season within that category. And if we don't if we don't succeed within that, I will then quit this save and that will be the end of Football Manager to the Prem series of episodes until I can uh, pluck up the courage to do a second series. Which will be to the Prem, but it will be with someone else.
So we've got a postponement against Oxley Jets. That may come in handy when we play Mine Hall. And I'm just going to skip the save game. So we've got Mine Hall in three days. Again, more job offers. Dorking Wanderers, again, not far from where I live. <coughs> this episode may be extended just a little bit due to the postponement, because we obviously try and get three games in per episode. Because we are about seven minutes into the episode and still no game. Kidderminster Harriers, I think, think you know, they're in the Vanarama North. So, here we go, got the game already, and I believe Braithwaite is available, so thank God for that. Braithwaite comes back onto the pitch after being out. So, we've got Start, Hutchins, but, uh, Jackson, O'Hara, Braithwaite, King Bull, Typhoid, Ben Harris, Barnes, and Sabi. So I'm happy with that squad at the moment. Don't think I'm going to make any changes. Let's carry on and see how we get on. So I've asked them to go out there and impress me. And let's see how they do. Let's skip all this, get straight into the game. Really should have squared it then, rather than taking the shot. Barnes was in acres of space. Eli are 2 nil up, 2 nil down. That could be a good shout. We need to capitalise on this. We need to start scoring. and hope Eli don't get anywhere. Brought one back already, just before half-time. That could be an omen for them. I always say that if they score in half-time in this league, it seems to be a good thing. So, let's say you've got the faith, and hopefully go out there and, and kick some butt the second half. Yes, and Barnes has put us a 1-0 up, which is good. And Eli have equalised. Richard Stevens getting the goal. Eli are the home team as well, so you'd expect them to do something. This doesn't look good for us. Good pick up by King. Great ball to Sabi. Oh, look at that. Brilliant play. How was that not a goal? So silky. That should have been 2-0. Oh, Wavenhove let a 2-0 lead slip. And are losing 3-2 at home. Lovely ball there. Could see an equaliser here. And, yep. Yeah, just what we want to see. And we draw 1-1. One, one. Very disappointing. In fact, I'm very unhappy with that because we were one nil up. We shouldn't have let that let lead lip. So we've gone two games, in ha uh, two games behind. Eli have dropped points as well. However, we've dropped major points by not winning the game there. It's definitely not good. 
So I'll catch up with one game next. And we've got Thratford, eh, who are two points ahead of us, but have two games in hand. And then the Oxley Jets on Tuesday. So here we go, hopefully coming up to game day. A couple of postponements there. I don't think that was a league game. No, it was, oh, it was Eastern League's Cup. March getting a 5-0 win there. And Kate Kirkley and Pakefield getting a 3-1 win against King Lynch Reserve. So let's just have a quick look at this, uh, the league table. So a lot of teams around us have 22 games. So this could be disastrous for us. We need to beat Oxley to enable a good position in the league. Because they will still have a game or two in hand over us. When we play them next. And of course if we beat Threatford that puts us in contention to overtake them in second. Although we are still away from them as well. Now we've got a postponement due to a waterlogged pitch. Which isn't great. Which means we all drop down a couple of places. However that's not too bad. Eli have dropped points again drawing 2-2 against Galston. So the games that did play puts us down to sixth in the league. But look at that. That is terrible. Sixth in the league. And we are playing now second in the league, Oxley Jets. To be fair, this is going to be a make or break game for us here. Um against Oxley Jets if we don't win this we will um, we'll put us in a big bag market for uh, trying to get to the top of the Prem uh, of the Eastern Prems so here we go <clears throat> second place Oxley Jets that's what we want to see unless we get a postponement again which won't be good so we already had this game postponed. Nope, I think we're going to be alright. I think we'll be playing this game. So a couple of games tonight. Just have a look to see if we need to make any changes. I think I might bring on Mark Abbott for ball just to see how Abbott does in this game here. So we're going to bring on Abbott and King. Braithwaite, O'Hara, Hutchins, we're going to have to keep with. Um, going to put Peggy on to start with, actually, and see how Peggy does. Um, going to bring back on Sam. Hopefully Sam's improved a little bit. Um, and there we go. We'll take it from there. So we've made a couple of changes to the squad to kind of refresh things a little bit. Um so I expect to win tonight, passionately. Again, I have the fantastic faith button. And um, we're going to hit skip very quickly and get into the game. Oh, good save by the goalie. So a half time nil nil. I'm actually gonna say I am we owe it to revenge them. So I'm gonna say it aggressively, you know, we owe it to revenge them. So hopefully that'll get on there. And it seems to be doing the work, they seem to be getting confident. So hopefully we can go out there and show a bit more aggression. So 
This is not how I wanted to see the aggression. <laughs> oh, lovely ball. Oh. Great tackle. Thought we could risk a penalty then. Go on, the king. That's what we like to see. Puts us into second place. That's not a bad shout. Oh, terrible ball by Braithwaite there. It's going to bring Oxley Jets back into the game here, surely, with this 1 1. Oh, how did he put that wide? I just want this game to be over. End the game, ref. Blow the whistle. Definitely blow the whistle. Go on, start. My pain's not over yet. Yes, what a goal by Baines. Two goal lead is not too bad with 15 minutes to go. However, they still can come back. It has been done. We've done it. And I think this is going to be a 2-1 here. Great goal by Hutchins there. Can we hold on? I don't think we're going to. Uh, oh, what a save. Love the Ben Jackson there. Oh, go on, Baines. Oh, what an own goal. Oh. Put on Barnes there. That's a good win for us against Oxley Jets. And I'm very happy with that. Puts us up to second. Obviously, we've got, we played, what, two games in hand over Threatford. We've still got to play them. Puts us nine points behind Eli, who are on the same amount of games, I believe, or just have a game in hand. I can't remember. <coughs> So, yeah, we're on the same amount of games with them with nine points. So that's not too bad. So Long Melford now next. Then it looks like we've got a bit of a break. Can't see Saturday just yet, but it looks like we've got a bit of a break. Oh, these are the Wednesday fixtures, I believe. I didn't see any. Might be because it's the last day of the month. Get another job interview, which I will decline. Yeah, so there's some Wednesday games today. Threatford have drawn. So, yeah, there's been some games played in the league. And Threatford go up to second on goal difference after that 1 1 draw. Eli didn't play. And around me, I should be okay for the moment. There's a couple of games. Only Oxley Jets could be potentially go above me and Threatford, but I've got Threatford coming up as well. So that's all good. Need another confidence performance with uh, Long Melford coming up. Again, the more W's we can get in the column, the better chance we have of closing that gap at first. So, board confidence update. So they're happy with the way. They uh, don't like my management. No, with, they don't like my signing. They're happy with the 4 3 win over March. Norris has reviewed full training. And again, we're losing we're almost 200,000 in debt. When we started, we were just a teeny weeny bit in debt. But now 200,000 in debt and not even out of the league. I feel that if we were maybe promoted, we may just recoup a bit of that money. 
However, with the players we got, we would struggle. So we would need to invest a bit more in the players. Some more job interviews. Um, Petersfield have made an offer for City. And they've made a non-negotiable transfer, which I am actually going to reject. Because he is a good player for me. And I'd rather, he, if, if he wanted to go, he could go on loan, but not on transfer. Looks like it's saying he's coming back, and tell you what, not another moment too soon. So, I'm happy with the way we played last game. Played a good game, and I'm happy with that team, so we'll keep that team going for this game. So I'll ask them to show me what they can do. Let's go. Hell's corners again. I might have to get him off corner take a duty because he's not doing what I need to do. And look at that. From the corner they go up and score. Sam Hurl cannot take corners. Oh, we've given away a penalty. So this is not a good position. Away from home, 2-0 down. And that doesn't help either. Eli 2-0 up as well. Threat for the losing, that is a good sign. Threat for them now equalised and Oxy Jets have conceded one. Great tackle by King there. Yes, CB. Puts us back within one. Oh, Braithwaite, what are you doing? That was probably the crappiest throw-in I've ever seen. So we go in 2-1 down, and I'm definitely not going to be happy with that performance. In fact, I'm disappointed with some of their efforts. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be angry. I don't care that I'm upsetting some people. <clears throat> They've got to realise that we're a football team and we need to be winning games. Eli 3-1 up now and Threatford are 3-1 up. We're the only team in the top four that are losing today. Sam O'Hara is having a bit of a bad game, but then again, he gave away the penalty, so he is feeling a bit down for himself. I'm going to change it up a teeny weeny bit. I'm actually going to bring off. I know he's not been playing that well, so we're going to go three up front, three at the back. Peggy's going to come on. Let's see how well we do with the three up front. Yep, 
Guys, I think we're going to leave it here after this one. 4 1. Definitely a bad result. So, yeah, I'm definitely not happy with that, and I'm definitely going to be. Uh, I'm not ha I'm happy to get all reds in this one because I'm furious. We've gone down to fifth. I know that doesn't help, but the fact that we're doing that is terrible. You know, all the teams above us Oxley Jets, Threatford, and Eli all won. We've now gone down a place because God, Man God Manchester won. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy with that at all. So, we'll leave it there for one episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.